what's up y'all tyler here with another video if you're new here hi i post self-improvement creative shit fashion shit and like vlogs and everything to pretty much influence and motivate so hi so let me just go ahead and get right into it my birthday is on january 26 i'm 29 now great on my birthday i went to a cat williams comedy show it was very fun i love cat williams before you know the hype before he broke the internet and while it was funny i learned a lot he was very much talking about following your dreams and self-discovery and anything is possible especially with all the crazy shit that's going on in life today and i feel like everything happens for a reason because that's pretty much all i talk about and i'm really big on patterns in life and i feel like i'm mastering how to look for signs and just messages in life and i feel like that was one of them because i'm like damn he low-key sounds like me chapter 29 right as of right now my motto is <laughs> not to force anything and it might sound so cliche like oh everyone says that especially in the self-improvement genre man look let's not force anything okay and um trust the process because every time i really want something and it doesn't work out or it just doesn't happen right when i wanted to i'll end up looking back on that moment and i'm glad that it didn't happen or i'm glad that it didn't happen when i wanted it to happen because sometimes we're just not ready for shit and sometimes we don't realize that some shit is just not for us. You ever thought you wanted something and when you got it, you was like, okay, this ain't it. Exactly. I bought this brow balm from Ulta. I'm more of a Sephora guy, but my sister likes Ulta. And I'm not one to just look around. I don't window shop. I personally think that shit is pointless. Like, I'm not going to go to the mall and not buy shit, you know? I went into Ulta and I was just looking around because I was going to leave there with something. And I was like, damn, I've been wanting to, like, you know, do a collab with a beauty brand with some type of, like, brow glue, so to speak, to, like, sculpt my eyebrows because... They're random as fuck, especially this one. And I saw some brow balm in there by NYX, and I was like, shit, let me try that. I definitely made a video using the brow balm, and I thought that I, I tagged the company in there, and apparently it looks like some type of fake account that's like with the company's name, because when I clicked on it, they only have like 200 followers, and I really doubt that, the, that this brand only has 200 followers so i kind of was bummed out about that i'm like damn i fucked up i tagged the wrong people but honestly and i was gonna delete the fucking video but you know what i worked hard on that fucking video it is what it is i was raised around a lot of women and they're all giving very much mother hen energy very much high anxiety everything's a big deal the fucking sky is falling and before I moved away, I was on that shit too. Very much like acting like a female, so to speak. I hate to talk like that. Who the oh, I hate when guys refer to women as females. Very toxic. I'm in a place in my life now where I'm so zen and just confident and just I just go with the flow and like everything's going to work out. And I also know that you can't like some things are just out of your control. Like you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna hit bumps in the road, you know you can't prevent that and you certainly can't crawl up into a ball and freaking just cry about it i'm kind of in like an environment where everyone kind of does that and it's just like uh, no man it's not a big fucking deal you know and i'm really proud of myself because i'm in a place in my life where i can just like not switch it and actually just call out what's not a big deal and what's going to be okay it took me a while to get there you know um, and the def I definitely had to leave my hometown and go somewhere else in a very free spirited and like blue state to get there. Your your environment kind of it definitely does heavily persuade you as a person because now that I'm back in that old environment, while I am more sure of myself, and more confident, and more like zen, it's definitely like there you know the high anxiety is very much like why aren't you freaking out this is a big deal 
the world is going to end and i'm very much like no it's not we live in a world where people actually brag about being toxic the fact that there are people that will really sit here and like with their chest and tell you i like to argue that's really sad because like why are you so miserable if someone i don't care like whatever like pettiness isn't genetic i don't think so if you are in a happy place in your life you are not about to walk around and try to upset people and i have come across more of more people like that recently that are unhappy clearly because why else would you try to make someone else unhappy and they try to project that onto you and they get really mad when it's not working to the point where they get desperate and start doing drastic things and i'm someone that's so confident in myself and so sure of myself that if you come at me asking stupid ass questions i really have a rational answer and that pisses you off i can stay calm the entire time and really just like answer your questions and so whatever you're trying to do isn't working and now you're just like saying anything to try to confuse and frustrate me and it's literally not working and also let me say this it is okay to walk away from someone that does not make you weak that does not mean that that person won if if you are arguing with someone and the person that you're arguing with walks away or just ignores you you really should be offended don't feel like yes i won they walked away or yeah like they stopped talking i got the last word no me personally when i do that i realize that your iq is not we're not on the same level you're unhappy you're miserable you're probably ignorant i'm not going to stoop to that level even though your intentions didn't work the fact that you tried to project those demons onto me is very offensive but anyway like i said i'm going to take the high road and just charge it to this person has went through a lot of shit and wasn't and isn't strong enough to overcome them but i do wish you the best i am that kind of person that's like okay if you are an unhappy person and you're always trying to offend people and upset people you walk into a room and you pick the happiest person in the room to try to bring down i'm not someone that's like fuck that bitch i'm gonna beat their ass whatever i'm like what happened to you my that's the first thing that comes to my mind and i'll ask like what happened to you as a child like were people mean to you either way i can motivate you like here's the link to my youtube channel you know you shouldn't act this way you're not being him by trying to okay now that i mentioned that masculinity is not intimidation and that's something else that i've noticed in guys that define being intimidating or physically overpowering you aren't a man if you don't intimidate other men in some way as if people don't have guns now you know what i mean no one fights fair now the, what you're going for is old school and it didn't work then you know what i'm saying but anyway I had to give my mom a whole scoop on what a sassy man was today. I damn near had to pull out a PowerPoint. What the fuck is so hard about a man that's confident in himself and that's not afraid to do his own thing? You know, that's basically what's considered a sassy man now. When in reality, a real man just doesn't care to impress other people and a real man doesn't care what people think of him. So for those ladies that try to project societal norms onto their men by saying, um, that was sassy. Did you order a lemon drop? That was really sassy. Oh, you're eating Fruity Pebbles? That's sassy. Get your ass out of my house. Like, get the fuck on somewhere. And if I'm in your house, then I'm leaving. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you don't, us as men, we don't deserve that. You know what I mean? Especially from, like, our spouses you know and not just women men in gay relationships like and your 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 man is telling you that was gay that was sad well damn what the fuck we both suck each other's dicks like you really gonna sit here and tell me i'm being a queen type shit anyways <laughs> we're in a place now where it's really hard to try to 
be like everybody else to fit in. That mindset is outdated. And it's really hard to do that. Girls get all these surgeries and enhancements. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's like, damn, everyone's looking the same. The same BBLs. The same long ass bone straight. Middle part bust down. You know what I'm saying? The same face. And it's just like, y'all are beautiful. But damn, y'all look the same. And you know, and. You know, guys are really you know, being more feminine, really to get more bitches and to get, you know, a clout on social media and so superficial. And like the 50-50 thing, the 50-50 thing is like a big joke, mainly in the black community, but not only in the black community. Like the man should pay for everything. And then there are some spoiled ass men that's like, no, we should like do 50-50 when in reality, the way that I see it. And I know I shouldn't even be talking about this, but whatever, let's just take it there. The whole like men providing for women 100% is like not for modern women. Like when men provided for women and their children 100%, that was for women who didn't have a job and who did not have income and had to lean on their husband because they literally had no money and he would provide that. Modern women have their own money and have their own jobs and are capable of getting their own money and their own jobs. If you have a whole fucking career, like you have like your own income, why the fuck would you sit back and let me pay for everything? If you really love me and care about me and we're like partners in love and we want to grow old together and it's us against the world, that's not what the fuck this is because... In the man's mind, in my mind, I'm going to feel like you, my child, low key. Like, damn, like, if you don't have your own income now in 2024 as a woman, like, that just looks bad. You know what I mean? Like, it's not 1948. You know what I mean? So, you ain't got your own shit and you try to gaslight me for bringing it up is a problem. That's the thing with, like, daddy's girls, too. And I know, like, moms can teach their daughters some fucked up shit. But a lot of girls who are daddy's girls, they have high expectations from their boyfriends. Like, oh, well, you should be doing this. My daddy always did that. And it's just like, well, I'm not your dad. You only have one father. And it's weird that you even, like, want me to be like your dad. Like, we, we fuck. We fucking. Like, you and I have sex. And, like, you're going to compare me to your father. That's just weird. That's just weird. But, and of course, like with men as well, a lot of these men are, you know, not all of us, but a lot of men are spoiled fucking brats and their moms fuck them up. Oh my God, mama's boys are the worst. And if it's zodiac sign, it's cancer, throw them away. <laughs> I'm be real with you, like nothing against cancers, but like that combination is bad. A man spoiled by his mother, a single, oh, a man spoiled by his single mother and his zodiac sign is cancer. Mm mm. That's like three strikes, you're out. And again, I know some dope ass cancers, so that's no shade towards cancers. But that, but that combination, fucked up. There are women who actually admit to like, oh, well, like I did not allow my son to clean or to cook. That's, that's female stuff. And now that he's an adult, he's dirty, he can't cook. And he's lazy. Your son is really out here starving and living off of McDonald's until he gets a girlfriend that can cook for him. So he's out here looking for a maid because you taught him or you didn't teach him how to cook for himself. You probably had your brothers teach him how to mow the lawn and how to fix a, and how to fix a flat tire and how to paint a house and shit like that and probably how to build one too. But he doesn't know how to wash his clothes you know what i mean or to cook a turkey for thanksgiving that's kind of crazy so i do not identify as straight i really don't i just i personally feel like most people in the world are not straight sexuality is way bigger than we think like our minds aren't even like 100 percent like tapped in on our whole brain we've only discovered like five percent of the fucking universe and like only like what five percent of the ocean there's so much that we don't know about like our surroundings and our own bodies and you're really gonna sit here and tell me that you have the answers for sexuality i mentioned all that to say we have to do better with our children because like men for example 
straight men. I'm not going to just pick on straight black men, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to be, you know, unbiased and just say straight men. I feel like society teaches straight men that just because you're straight, you're sexually attracted to women, you're going to get everything that you want out of life. Even if you don't have a work ethic, you don't have goals, you're not a good person. The fact that you love pussy is push you above anyone else. And that's obviously false. So I really feel like straight men in the world, for the ones that are broke, don't have their own shit. They're dating girls with low self-esteem just to live in their house and shit like that. And uh, they have baby mamas all over the world. Their life isn't where they want it to be because they feel like that life should be handed to them. They see this homosexual couple over here that is very successful, that has a lot going on. They can travel whenever they want to. They look really good, high-end clothes, and they have the life that this straight bum wants. And now this straight bum feels like, well, that's not fair. And now they want to be mean to these gay people. Or now suddenly they're spreading hate on homosexuals because they feel like homosexuals are having a good life and it's not fair. When in reality, babe, but those gay people are natural born hustlers and naturally independent because most likely they didn't have the choice but to be that. Most queer people, not just homosexuals, but bi, trans, pans, whoever, a lot of these people grew up, you know, being ostracized and being abused or being pushed away and they didn't have a choice but to make things happen on their own. And so that's why most you know, queer people are successful, you know, or they have their own shit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but I say all of these things to say we have to keep our eyes on our own prize, you know what I'm saying? And like not worry about what everyone else is doing. And a lot of people are just trying to fit in and all of this like crazy toxic shit that's going on all over the world now. And it's really fucking it's not even interesting anymore there's not even any the influence to want to be like everyone everyone else is dead it's not even there like you're not it's not even convincing for me to want to follow trends and like do the same shit everyone else is doing and talk about the megan the stallion versus Nicki minaj beef that shit isn't even interesting to me anymore like the black on black drama and the black on black rivalries are just so outdated for me and it's just and eh, whatever you know what i'm saying so there was a time where i wanted to be like everyone else so bad i wanted to fit in so bad and i tried and it didn't work out and i look back on all that shit and i'm glad i'm really glad that i don't fit in i'm glad that like when i try to do shit that everyone else is doing that perceived that's perceived that's cool i can't do it because i know that god is like that's not what I have for you. And that's not me trying to like put myself above anybody else and be like, I meant for bigger things. Like that's not what this is. It's just like, yo, like you you're your own person and keep doing it. You know what I mean? I don't know, bro. This is just a rant. I'm twenty nine years old and I got one foot out the door. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't mean that I'm old or anything like that because if I told you I was 21 years old, I'm sure you'd believe it. I'm just playing, but even I'm not playing, but I mean, I hate when people get insecure about their age. That's so sad. It's really sad that like people consider themselves old when they get to like 25 and shit like that. I'm just like, bro, what? There's 50 year olds that that's not old. There's 70 year olds that look great. It can do a fucking backhand spring, toe touch, no problem. Who gives a fuck how old you are? And as a model, there's something that gets on my nerves too. Well, yeah, among other things. Because I really don't like when agencies and castings ask me, like, how old are you? Because it's nothing to be insecure about, but it's like, why? Like, who cares? Like, because when you tell them how, when I tell them how old I am, it's like, you can feel the, you can feel the energy shift. Like, if I had told you I was 19, there would have been a more positive response. But I'm not going to lie to you because who gives a fuck how old I am? How do I look? 
But anyways, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> it's late. I thought I recorded this shit an hour ago and I was going to go edit it and realize the sound was off. Not sure what the fuck happens. And I hope y'all have a good day, night, morning, whatever time it is that you're watching this. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? So um, check out my other videos if you like. And, you know. Hit that little that little bell button for to be notified when I'm on when I post more videos and stuff. And um, you gotta help me out with this algorithm. YouTube has such a fucking crazy algorithm. Algorithm. TikTok is more fast paced. YouTube is more patience. You know what I mean? And um, that's cool. But I'm getting used to it. So um, yeah. And also, don't forget to share this to like you know other platforms and to your friends and stuff. Like the more the merrier. Let's party. But, man, like, I just, I post content because I just never had real friends. I just never felt like the per- like the friends that I had, like, really liked me for me. And that's what this is, like, to, you know, to bring, for all of us that feel the same way to find each other, you know what I'm saying? And just, like, have that community, have that. I ain't going to say supporters because that word has been so overused now. And it kind of sounds like some charity shit. Like, I just feel like a, a homeless person on the side of the street with like a, a tin can asking for coins. My supporters. But anyways, but yeah, I, I'll see y'all later. You know, I'll talk to y'all later on this shit. So, peace out.